Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Oldridge Farm where today I forgot that I had the harvester already hooked up. Uh, today we are going to be um, starting off the harvest again. I've got everything planted and time's been fast forwarded so that's nice. It's all ready to go. I think we're going to start off with the fields. Thingy. Yeah, field group one, which is wheat. Uh, the reason we're starting off with field group one is one, it's closest to the farm. Two, it's gonna have the it's gonna have the highest yield. A tab by mistake because I've been playing a lot on Bandicow. Um, <laughs> I've been playing a lot on Bandicow and off-screen maps, so I do tab. Um, so let's get this John Deere turn around. This tight of a space. Yes, beautiful. So, um, I know I'm pretty much ignoring the uh, headers rule that I have, but it's kind of unavoidable because the header doesn't really work, or the, 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 the header trailer doesn't really work. I've come out the wrong side of the farm. Well done, me. Um, just have to check if that there's a steam notification that popped up on the uh, on OBS, but no, it didn't. So, right down to business. Um, all of the fields are planted. All of them have been fertilised, I believe, been led to believe by my own stupidity, which is probably a terrible idea to believe myself. But oh well done it now and uh, I'm not going to drive around with a fertilizer at this point. Um, you can see we are 13,000 euros in debt at the moment. It's because, well, we haven't sold anything off. Why do... Oh, field A. That explains a lot. So, um, we could actually have driven into field A there and got the wheat off that. So we're going to start off with wheat. Um, pretty much because I prefer to only harvest one crop at a time. And well wheat's what I've numbered one. So let's get the harvester started. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop straw. I'm going to have to drop straw. Drop straw, please. There we go. We're going to drop straw because we need it. We need quite a lot of straw. Uh, next job is to move this trailer out of the way. By very carelessly reversing it. Not so. I was going to try and do this properly, reverse it up the road and pull it in, but decided I didn't want to do that. So, next job is to um, just double check on the harvester while I'm doing this. Is to. Reverse through here because I can't turn tight enough. Um, grab. Need to do a bit of research before I do uh, one thing I want to do. So, next job is to remember where I put things. Okay, there's a bed grabs on that. Beautiful. Um, what can I do next? Take off this front loader attachment. Swap it out for. Actually, no, I, I don't need to do this. 
What I am going to do, however, is drive up to the lambs. Um, I'd like a second trailer at this point. I'm going to drive up to the lambs without any attachments because I left the mixing mug up there. Uh, and we're going to sort out the lambs for straw very quickly because if I bring up this PDA I was watching it progress after I fast forwarded time and they're out of everything now. So that's going to be the first thing we do. Uh, we're going to ignore the harvester for a moment because I'm not running half across the map. And we are going to... probably could have put the pickup on the trailer and, and brought it like that. But oh well. Um, we are going to something's blocked the harvester. It's probably found a tree. We're gonna to uh, find, yeah. We're gonna throw some straw at the lambs, and I think I left the water trailer up here as well, so we'll give them some water as well. And I forgot to check how many subs I have, which is amazing. So I won't be getting any new lambs. Uh, this, by the way, is the reason that I decided against getting. Uh, pigs and beef cattle as well because the lambs are trouble enough so yes I did leave the water trailer up here wonderful okay that's uh, attached we'll bring it out around this way I think I love the John Deere because the turning circle is so tight there we go Fill them up on straw as much as it lets us. Or until we run out of straw on this thing. So, Okay, good. We're down to 600 litres of straw in here. You can see there's a ton of manure that needs to... Actually, quite a few tons. Literally a few tons of manure that needs to be um, disposed of and moved. That's going to be an issue for a different day. Um, well, just not right now. Gonna get some water, and um, how wonderful! There's a book there. I can get the, the water from there in future. I'm gonna drive around to the back, throw the water in, then go find out what the harvest has gone and done. I think if I had to put money on it, it's found a tree. Um, I'm not too happy with the fact that we're in. Like massive amounts of debt at the moment. That's not very pleasing. In any case, let's give the lambs the water. Beautiful. I think I may have crashed the game. No, I didn't. Wonderful. So, let's just pull the tractor out. I can leave the water out of there. It's the only place it's going to be needed. Let's, uh, Get back down to the farm and try to figure out what's going on with the harvester. Part of me wishes the harvester was still working so that I could potentially work it out on my way down, but uh, that's not a thing that's happening. Um, so today is Sunday. I recorded, I think it's tomorrow's Banticow episode yesterday, as well as the next episode of Banticow. I am um, coming up on a week ahead of videos, on videos. Um, so, that's good, because it gives me, it gives me breathing room. I love making videos, but the stress, oh my god, the stress if I'm running a bit short on time. Um, because I do like having the background noises minimized, and with rugby and TV shows and all of that stuff. Not exactly the easiest thing to do. Um, especially when there's almost always somebody home. I usually get lucky and end up not having problems with noise. Um, has it silage fermented? Yes, it has. It's quite a nice texture, I must admit. Um, I usually get quite lucky and don't have many problems with noise despite everybody being home. Because look at the Irish or whatever. Just 
afraid as I'm actually going to need the New Holland over here. And I can show you something while I'm over there. And the something that I can show you is around here. It has to do with the Seed Master. And... You will remember in... I think it was the last episode or the episode before. The last time I recorded anyway. When we had all the soybeans, we threw them into the Seed Master. It was 22,000 litres of soybeans we threw in. The Seed Master now has no soybeans, but 21,000 litres of seeds. So, I may end up getting... Well, I will eventually get new cedar, sooner or later. Um, the way things are going now, sooner. Because... That means we will essentially be running for free, especially with the amount of uh, manure and slurry we're getting from the lambs. Now I may work on cows as well because they do. Oops, the cows have a mixing station. Or the beef cattle do, I think. There is a mixing station down. Yeah, it's the beef cattle. I may get. Um, the hundred of them as well because they have a making station and I can throw straw silage and grass in that's why I was making silage um, essentially it was just to feed the mixing station and um, so that I could get some hay bales together uh, what's going on here it has found a tree wonderful and yeah, I'm going to do the headland here myself, because the hired worker is a moron. So let's get going. Okay. So, a rarity, me actually doing some manual harvesting. Um, <laughs> so, I have got a few new mods. Um, I've got vehicle rental. Um, placeable heaps, a second seed manufacturing area that can also make fertilizer. That might come in useful on this map. Um, the only thing is I need manure and slurry to make fertilizer to make seeds. So that's going to be a balancing act. Um, I also have placeable heaps. So I have UPK installed, which I know doesn't play nice with some maps. I um, 98% certain it plays well with this map. I haven't tested it, and I'm not going to test it in the LP or in this specific map, because this is um, my LP map. I do have a couple of test saves on various maps, just for screwing around, and testing things, and testing ideas that I have, and mods that I have. So let's put out the pipe. Let's run over and get the T6. Um, I'm not I'm not very impressed with the amount of tractor mods coming out. They're very few and far between and they seem to be very low quality. I'm sorry, I was just opening kind of coke because I've got some. Um, the tractor mods I've been seeing are few and far between and quite regularly not the greatest quality so I'm not particularly keen on getting a mod tractor at the moment so that's oh actually no that's a bad idea <laughs> it's wait until we're actually beside the harvester so I can slide it in under a bit easier now I could in theory get the entire thing under it, um, with the trailer as well, but it does have a tendency of propping the harvester up, as you can probably guess from the out of size, but I'm going to give it a try, just try and save time. There we go. Perfect, more or less. Um, <laughs> so, yeah.
Um, I think I'm going to try and get um, a new cedar. So let's just have a look at my mud cedars. Because OEB have converted a couple of these, the in-game ones, to the um, seed mod specs. I think. Honestly, I don't know what this one does. Um, this fight is the same as uh, seed mod spec. So anything with OEB here, seed mod spec. In spread of the night, mirror spread is normal, normal, normal. Normal. Okay, so, and in tippers, I should have a second Brantner, but I don't quite know why it hasn't shown up. Uh, to do. Ah, yes. I also got today the Arcusen four stack, so that I can um, sack bales a bit more manually. Um, square bales, specifically. I would like to do kind of more manual Bailey Majiggy work, but uh, it it does take a lot of time and it's very slow going. And uh, I just time is one thing that nobody has enough of, and with the various things I'm doing, uh, oh my god. <laughs> Um, for example, on I think it was Thursday, I turned on my computer camera, hopped on Skype because I always hop on Skype to talk to my friends, and um, I was in a Skype call with a friend and he just said, oh yeah, I'm adding this guy in because um, we need to talk about a thing, and obviously it was related to the, the game project that I'm working on. Um, but I had no idea this was going to happen. I was just, oh, okay, surprise meeting. That's perfectly fine. We talked a few things through and it went fine. Um, but, um, if you... <laughs> Why did I kind of have to sing that? Um, if you have ever worked in a game yourself, or kind of watch the development of a game closely, if you could know somebody who's been working on a game or something. Um, you'll know that ideas can change rather dramatically, either over time or very suddenly. And that's kind of what's going on with uh, the game I'm involved with, is ideas are changing and um, it's it's interesting to see that basically the passage of time taking effect. Uh, I'm gonna have to run. I'm gonna have to run off after I record this. I just, I've just um, realised. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's interesting to see the passage of time taking effect. I'm gonna. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I don't know what I'm gonna do. Because I want to pick up the straw um, to sell it. I also wanted to stay within that hedge, but that wasn't going to happen. Technically, that's more of a ditch, though. Um, I can park up the trailer here. the entire assembly there. Pick up some I'm gonna pick up the forage wagon. As you can see we got a nice big bunker of silage ready. So I can um, I can probably put a placeable heap down with the lambs and uh, get the silage to them that way. That might be the most efficient way of doing it. But yeah, I, I did kind of forget that I had a stock of uh, bales at the farm. So I'm going to have to bring 
either bring the bales over to the lambs, which is a possibility, or bring the mixing wagon back to the farm, which is also a possibility, but it does mean that uh, that's a bit more time consuming. So, we got one round done on field 11, and that's it for this episode, I'm afraid. Um, don't worry, I won't be... I'll be trying to do a bit more off-screen work now that I'm so far ahead. Uh, Bandicam might be getting a bit more fragmented in, in terms of things that are going on. Um, especially if I can get bigger harvesters there. Gonna try and get a bigger harvester here as well. Um, got an idea of how to do that. But, for now, um, I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 15 on Oldridge Farm. Please comment, like and subscribe, it does help the channel grow and uh, hopefully you're enjoying these videos so you want to help the channel grow so that I can do more videos and keep this up. Um, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time and until then, stay safe and... <laughs>